I'm T Pain from impatientprogrammer.net. This is PySide and PyQTQ checkbox in two minutes. A checkbox is a box that comes from the distant lands of the Czech Republic, thus the name, the checkbox. <laughs> a Q checkbox is a simple widget with some text and a square you can click. It's usually offered as an option for some window. For example, do not show window again, or I agree to these terms and conditions, or remember me on this crappy laptop, no one else will. <laughs> Ooh, that's dark. And now for some common functions. Check state returns if the box is empty, filled, or checked. PyQt returns integers and PySide returns a state. Set check state sets the value of the checkbox. Set try state will set the checkbox to be try state or not. State changed is the signal for if the checkbox is clicked. Is checked and set icon are functions inherited from the abstract button class. And they just return the bool or are used to set the checkbox icon. And now let's look at an example. Note that the example on the right hand side is a smaller and more concise version of the code on the left. In this example, I do things a bit different as I'm storing everything within a class. This is because I want to access info about the checkboxes every time they are clicked. So because the function needs to access the checkbox and the signals do not allow you to pass in arguments, then we must store everything within a class. This is important to understand with PyQt and PySide. In the constructor class, is most of our code here. Up top, we have all of our typical code for importing, creating the widget and layout. Then we have three checkboxes created, one being set to checked, the other being set to try state. Then we connect our checkboxes state change signal to the print states function. Finally, we add our widgets to the layout and run the code. The print states function below does just that. And after everything, we instance our class to run our code. From here on in, we will begin to notice serious differences between PyQt and PySide in what they return. And now I'm running Python 2.7 and notice the differences we get between this code and PyQt. So here we have checked, unchecked, and partially checked as per usual. Okay, now if we run this code in Python 3.6 with PyQt5, we've got integers being returned of 0, 1, and 2, depending on if it's checked, unchecked, or partially checked. Excellent work, buddy. Exercises are in the description. If you would like to see a practical application built from scratch, check out my tool development series linked in the description. Thank you to all my wonderful patrons, and as always, like, subscribe, and keep the dream alive.